back on the river here. I've got something that looks like it could be pretty nice down here. See it poking through there. I can see some banding already. Let's get it out of there. Oh yeah, that is nice. That's a nice little agate. More bullseye agates. I think this one was 11 pounds, if I remember right, and, and this one was eight pounds. They're both the same material. It's another one that I'm kind of collecting from Adam. But look at the druzy cavities. They're, they're corroded because of the river action, but you can see the crystal faces in there, definitely. Same thing on this side. Oh yeah, the water always brings it out, guys. Spectacular. Without knowing the geology of the source, it's difficult to give an exact description. I rule out stalactitic growth because the spirals appear uniform on all sides of the rock. Crystals filling in cavities in a brecciated matrix is possible, but I only see very few hints of such a matrix. I have seen at Travertine Mineral Springs where bits of debris crystallize into such round onion-like pieces where water is moving or cascading and they become rounded since they never have time to attach to anything as they grow. This could be something similar only with quartz instead of calcite. One of these days I'm going to drop one of these big ones and it's really going to hurt. <laughs> I guess that maybe that'll make the video go viral. because there doesn't seem to be much matrix at all. It seems to all be these radiating clusters of quartz crystals that all grew together. That's what I love about these. I do have a few pieces that show a little more of the matrix and this piece with the larger pattern is similar. We can see more clearly the chunks of matrix which appear to be soft and eroded out more than the surrounding quartz. Again, they do not appear to be attached to each other except by the quartz. We don't just find agates here, we find all kinds of cool stuff. So if you're looking for just agates, not the pace for you.